Thanks for watching. We appreciate you. Please, please subscribe. Tosa police released new video of a DPW worker plowed into several vehicles stopped at a light. Our Spencer Tracy joins us now in studio, and we want to warn you this video is hard to watch. Maddie, the video shows the people who tried to save DPW worker Denise Dara. For the first time, we are hearing from a woman who worked every day with Dara. We are not naming the worker because she is part of a police investigation. I don't have to tell her, okay. you know what I'm saying? Yep. She she works, yep. Yep. you know. Filling potholes for DPW. 64-year-old Denise Dara was known for her work ethic. Yeah, I work with her all the time. That's why it kind of took me. Hours later, never before seen video shows the crash on December 13th, just two weeks before Christmas. We pause the video the moment the crash happens. But she was wedged right up against the steering wheel. There's nothing that I could have done. The medical examiner's report says DeRaw's DPW truck was going 60 to 70 miles per hour on Mayfair Road. Surveillance video from Wauwatosa Police shows her truck smashed into multiple stopped cars at a traffic light. Did the female driver ever make it out? I'm afraid she's dead. Okay. Are you guys okay? Police say along with Dara, 85-year-old Paul Woda of Milwaukee and 40-year-old Amy Miller of Cedarburg died. Several others were hurt, including this man being interviewed from the hospital. Honestly, I'm surprised you've walked away without more injuries than you have. Investigators interviewed Dara's co-worker, who she was with earlier that day. Do you know of any health issues that she had? I did hear that she was she did have seizures. Back in December, Dara's daughter told Fox 6 her mom suffered a medical emergency and had previous medical issues. This is just an investigation. This is a criminal investigation. This is a very tragic I mean, I'm situation. Dara's co-worker says she was set to retire this January from the DPW. The medical examiner's office tells Fox 6 Dara's official cause of death is still pending. Thanks for watching. We appreciate you. Please, please subscribe.